All right, today I am going to speak into the worst microphone possible for a quick little tutorial on texture hacking Zenless Zone Zero. This is going to work exactly the same for all Hoyo games, and I'm going to start with Belle's face here, which is a separate mod from her body. Now, a quick heads up, you are going to need the program Paint.net. There might be some other programs at work, but Paint.net is going to be the one to use. And so I will leave a link in the description both to download paint.net and for a tutorial if you want a tutorial on how to download it. And anyway, now I've got my Bell mod right here, bellface.tds and bellface ini. I chose this mod because it's really, really simple, just two files. And so it's great for a tutorial. Usually textures are named diffuse at the end, but um, th this is just bellface.tds. So we're going to double click and open it with paint.net. And now we can start making changes to it. Now, you can use this like a real image manipulation program and copy and paste stuff onto it from Photoshop or from other things. Uh, I'm just going to draw a black circle here because I don't really know what to do. And as you can see, I'm going to hit Control S to save, and that window pops up. I just hit OK, and then I go back to Sunless Zone Zero, hit F10 to reload the mods, and you can see it worked. Now, we're going to undo that and save it because obviously I don't want I don't want that to happen. It looked really ugly, and she's back to normal after hitting F10 again. Now, one thing you absolutely do not want to do is try to save with multiple layers. It will not let you save as the same file type, or at least I don't think it will. Um, so whatever you do, just you know, make it one layer. This can be you like merging down the layers at the end, as I do right here before you save. Or you can just work on one layer. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure it's one layer at the end so that you can click Control S and then go back and click F10 and there you go. Um, now I'm going to undo all that once again because I don't want to have that happen. And then I save it as nothing. And we're back to the base mod. And now we are going to work on something a little more complex. We're going to work on the body of the mod. Now this mod does have quite a number of toggles, but I'm pretty sure the skin layer, the skin texture, uh, it works throughout the mod for all the toggles. So I go in and I open uh, the Rin Body Diffuse DDS. Now there are multiple uh, textures and sometimes you'll see the same things in different textures, but the mod will only be calling it from one. And this is, as it's labeled, the Body Diffuse. So the big pale blob there is all the skin. And as you can see, I'm going to draw some black lines there, save it, and we're going to go back to Zenless Zone Zero and hit F10. And now you can see, oh, there's some extra black lines. So we know exactly where those lines are, are going, where they're coming from. But I'm, I'm actually not entirely sure what is what. And sometimes you just have to do a little bit of trial and error. So, you know, I see that sort of mound right there. And I place some red on it. And uh, then when I go over and save, well, you can see what happens. If you're a total noob at modding like I am, then the only way to figure out where things are mapped and what texture is just trial and error like this. Um, so sometimes you're going to get some awkward results, uh, but you'll eventually find your way. Moving on to the reason that I created this video is I got a request for someone asking how to change the textures in Zuyon Fashion Girl, which is a mod that comes with a bunch of different customizable elements, a bunch of different skirts, shirts, um, you know, accessories, uh, all different textures. But in order to actually customize it, you need to be able to open it up with paint.net and copy and paste the right elements onto the right part of the texture. So we're going to grab this gray skirt texture here, and we're going to overwrite the red one that I currently have. And so I went in and opened up this file. It's called like a4, A, E, B. It's got a really long name that's very undescript, but I open it up. I hit Control V because I already copied uh, the image file that we had open earlier, um, and I pasted it in there, and we're going to hit Control S. And now that it's in the right spot, I wasn't able to perhaps get it perfect because I don't want to move the camera around since I have to censor an area of that. Um, but uh, you can see I got it at least almost perfect, and the skirt is now updated to gray. Now don't worry, I will go back to those file folders to explain a little bit more since I know that this isn't in English. And in fact, the texture file for the like body diffuse is just named like that really weird random name that started with A. This is also made more confusing by the fact that I have a bunch of 
random files in this folder that don't belong there. But the third folder there that's in Chinese, I think that's Chinese, um, is the one with all the mod authors provided files that are just there for your own sake to customize this version. So the top two have a bunch of different images that connect to the different textures. And the third one actually has alternate versions of that A file, the body diffuse file that started with the letter A, um, that you can use that are pre-made, ready to go. They're all zipped up, uh, but you can just t take them out of the zip file and overwrite the one that you currently have. It's also good if you accidentally mess up the, the texture that you have, like let's say you, know, you do something horribly wrong uh, when following this tutorial, you can always go back to that bottom folder with all the zip files and just grab one from there. And because you have all the images in those first two folders that are in Chinese, um, you can always go back and you know recreate any version from those. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I don't know anything else about modding outside of this, so I won't be able to help really, but um, there you go.